Well, um, thank you so much for having us. Uh, thank you, Richard Bryant and Musco Center. I really look forward to coming back playing live music, but I'll settle for this for now. Um, so a lot of my last couple, uh, several years, my last album was really focused on Japanese, uh, initially on Japanese American incarceration, um, also known as Japanese internment. This is an event that happened about 75 years ago, in case you're not familiar. Um, and basically in the height of war, in, in the beginning of World War II, they incarcerated the entire West Coast civilian uh, Japanese population, which is approximately 120,000 people, put them into concentration camps in the interior. And um, it was a long time ago, it was over 75 years ago, but there's so much relevance in that. Um, it's really uh, a lot of, you know, incarceration is really, um, since this is the topic of today, it's, it, it is racist. It's a lot, it's about, you know, locking up ethnicities that we fear and the politicians and corporations will use fear as a tactic, um, you know, to, to mobilize um, the law against them. And so this song is about, um, kind of about it like assimilation and, and the loss of language and culture that a lot of immigrants have to constantly do, you know, to kind of survive, to, to fit in. You know, uh, many people just they want to, they want their kids to fit in, so they won't teach, they won't pass on language to their children. Uh, many people just um, need to survive so that they're not ostracized. You know, and so um, this is a song called "Forgotten Words," also known as "Theme for Jerome." And Jerome was a, a camp in Arkansas, about ten thousand people. No, 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 no. Melody to her beloved 
signs, forgotten words from Japan.